hand. You please watch me first and we have to warm up to it for to prevent the neck from getting overstretched. So we inhale, raise the arms up. We exhale forward, then inhale up, exhale to the plow. Can we try this five times? Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale forward. Inhale, exhale to the plow. Inhale, exhale forward. Inhale, exhale to the plow. Okay. Now please watch me. So in order for you to do the shoulder stand, you, especially if you are targeting the shoulder stand to be upright and vertical, the plow pose is the eligibility pose. You should be able to do that because it is of high risk if you happen to wriggle yourself in the shoulder stand and fall back and if the leg did not hit the floor, there's a high chance you might overstretch your neck, right? It can even cause an injury to the neck. So remember, before aiming the full upright shoulder stand, make sure the feet can touch the floor in the plow because it's like a pose to prevent falling and hurting the neck. But to approach shoulder stand, plow is the first step. You watch me once, I roll back to the plow, open the legs, then I lock my fingers, I lean to my right side when I straighten my left arm, I lean my hip to the left side, straighten the right arm. Left, right, left, right. So the hip goes to the opposite direction, right? Then I latch my palms to my back, lift my legs one by one. When you come down, blow pose, slowly down. And please don't raise the head when you come out of the pose. The head stays on the floor. Can we try this, please? Can we try? So first, proceed to do the plow pose. Open the legs in the plow pose. Interlace your fingers, straighten the arms in the plow pose. Move your hips slightly to your right. Straighten and pull your left shoulder away from the neck. Move your hip to the left side, extend the right hand up. You do that wriggling movement two, three times. Do not turn your head, wriggle your neck. The neck should not be moved while it is bearing the weight and being locked in that plow pose position. Then hold the back first and do not raise both legs together. Raise one leg at a time. So when you go up, you are going to be raising one leg at a time. One leg up, another leg up. Please don't turn your head, right? And keep lengthening the body up towards the ceiling. There is going to be a bit of pressure in your throat. Normal feeling. Because of this upright intensity, breathe for 10 to 20 counts if you can, or stay there until you are able to maintain some breath movement so you don't feel deeply compressed on your throat, not feeling choking sensation, Push your four upper arms to the floor, elbows to the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Now come back to the plow pose again. Then roll back, lie down, and don't raise the head after the pulse. Just lie down in the butterfly pose. This shoulder stand is, is the most uh, effective in terms of your balance support, full inversion, right? The next one is the head stand, and after that elbow stand, a forearm stand we call it, then hand stand. So if you are able to gain control of your body in this shoulder stand full inversion, 
you can achieve better stability in headstand and other full inversion postures right gently turn the head left and right Now, if possible, can we please do it one more time, right? Poses like this, the first time you kind of feel the neck is still not releasing the tension. But as you have done once, the second time you might feel at ease in the posture. So let's do it again. If you are still not sure about the movement, feel free to watch me. If you, are, if you have understood the movements of the shoulder stand, proceed to do the pose. So first go into the plow pose, halasana. Interlace your fingers, left hand straight, right hand straight. Then legs together, palms touching the back. One leg up, another leg up. Now again, once you are done, 20 counts, then slowly come down and don't raise the head, lie down, just take a deep breath three times. Turn the head left and right. Okay, now there is a very gentle counter pose you can do. Usually we choose fish as the counter pose, but for directly doing a fish immediately after the shoulder stand is too intense for the neck. Especially if you have weak neck, you should not do that approach. So you should choose some other posture, but not the fish pose, right? Cobra pose would be better. But in this posture also we have a gentle counter pose. All you do is just open the elbows same height as your shoulders you are just pressing the head into the floor 10 times so i'm keeping my head flat and i'm pressing it to the floor then i relax i press relax i press relax i press relax i press relax 10 more times now this is good for people with weak neck. If you keep hunching the back, your head keeps falling off your stacking position. This head pressing to the floor will actually strengthen, activate your neck and the back muscles, upper back. So three more times, press. You, when you press your back of the head, you can feel the back of the neck through the upper thoracic muscles are engaging. One more time. Press and hold, relax, turn sideways, sit up please, sit cross leg, now turn the head left and right. Great. Now keep your shoulders parallel to the floor. Get the right arm to go over the head, stretch, extend your left hand out, it's a lateral stretch. Chest lift up, see my right shoulder, I don't squeeze up, drop the right shoulder down and very gentle pressure, don't try to force your neck with the full arm strength, inhale, the other side, left shoulder down. Lift your chest up, laterally stretch your neck, three, two, one, relax. Hope you are all watching the videos and practicing it regularly. 
Make sure you don't sit on a couch or lie on the bed and watch these videos. Please take your mat, lay it down and start your practice and follow these videos as you practice. I will surely upload more videos that will enhance your yoga journey. Please come back and check out for the latest videos. Namaste. Thank you.